Lesson 140 starts on page 522 and it's about locating points on a coordinate graph. Now this lesson is basically a combination of lesson 138 and 139. In lesson 138 you learned about coordinate graphs. You learned that you always go to the right first and then up to locate a point on a coordinate graph. In lesson 139 you learned about negative numbers and writing number lines with negative numbers on them. Now what we're going to do is basically put a number line vertically and then a number line horizontally and have them intersect each other and that will make a new kind of coordinate graph that has negative and positive numbers on it. So here's a horizontal number line and we'll put the vertical number line right through zero on that horizontal number line. Okay, so now we have a vertical and a horizontal number line that intersect at zero. And then I put like a graph paper type grid on there too to help us find and locate our points. Now I've drawn a point A on the board there and we learned in lesson 138 how to locate point A and we said we always start at zero and we go to the right and then up. And so we'd say A, the coordinate of A is 2 comma 3. Now, what would you do about point B that I'm going to draw here? Now that one is over on the left side of this graph and we've always said well you need to go to the right and then up but now we have an option of going to the left as well so just think of moving horizontally first. You move horizontal then up and so to locate point B and write down the coordinate for it, we go horizontally first. And so we'd go to the left, 1, 2, 3, and then up 2. And so we would say negative 3, comma, 2. That's point B's coordinate, negative 3, comma, 2. So now let's just change our idea of locating coordinates just a little bit when we're working with negative numbers too. You move horizontally first, then up. The start at zero, that's still the same though. You always start at zero. Start at zero, then move horizontally, then up. And since we have negative numbers, we could go up or down, right? So we should say up or down to be real specific about this. Start at zero, then move horizontally, then move up or down as you need to. For example, let's do another coordinate. See if you can figure out what the coordinate for that point right there is and we'll call that point C. Well, that one you would move to the left 2 and down 3, right? So you move horizontally first starting at 0 and so you would say negative 2 comma negative 3. Let's do one more of these and go ahead and pause the CD and, and just see if you can figure it out. I'm going to put point D way down here at the bottom. Okay, so you would move to the right 5. Starting at 0 you move to the right 5 then you'd move down five as well, right? To negative five. So that point D is at five comma negative five. That would be its coordinate. To understand coordinates better, one of the best things to do is study a map and try to find different locations on a map. Most maps they'll have a place where they list streets or cities and they'll give you the coordinates of those cities and then you can look on the sides of the map on the edges of it and they'll have the different coordinates. A lot of times they use letters and numbers or just a combination of letters to help you figure out the coordinates and the location for a particular city or street. So if you're still a little confused on coordinates, get a map out and practice using the map. Okay, well that's all for Lesson 140. That's all for Math 6-5. Congratulations, you're done with Math 6-5. We'll see you next year in Math 7-6.